Hello everyone and welcome back to Smart Bharat. Today we are going to learn about something called the code editor. But before that, let's start by understanding what code is. Code is like a recipe for a dish. Just like you follow a recipe step by step to make your favorite dish, a computer follows step by step code to perform tasks. When we write code, we are actually giving instructions to the computer. This lets us tell the computer what to do. When we run our code, it gives us something called output. This output basically just shows us the result of the instructions we give it. It's similar to seeing the final dish after following a recipe. The output also lets us know if our code worked correctly. For example, your favorite apps such as WhatsApp or PUBG are all actually just outputs that's right hundreds of thousands of people work in large companies to write lots and lots of code to create these apps this code is very detailed it tells the computer or phone exactly what to do how to do it and when to do it and these apps that we love and use every day are nothing but output they are a product of all of the code that's written to create them Now it's not possible for us to cook our own biryani before we can cook rice correct we need to learn simple things first before we can learn more difficult things that is why we will not be creating any apps or games of our own in this course apps and games can get extremely large and complicated very quickly instead we will start by learning the basics of how to code but after you complete this course you will be able to move on to more advanced things The simple things that you learn in this course will help you all in your future experiments with technology. Maybe you want to build your own app or maybe you want to build your own game. Maybe you even might want to create a website. Now, coming back to outputs. Like I said, we won't be seeing any very large complicated outputs in this course like the kind you see in apps. But we will still certainly work with outputs. as we write our own code we will be able to see its own output however we will only see this output as some words and numbers so let me show you what i mean so over here as you can see this is what we call the smart bharat code editor is where we can write all of our python code and we can also see its output now here what you see is a much smaller version of something called an ide an ide is a much better larger code editor than this it has many different features to make it easier for developers to code also a developer is just what we call someone that writes code and soon all of you will be developers now normally the ide is actually an application on your computer but you will all be using the smart bharat ide right from your browsers this makes things very easy and we can get started with coding right away Before we move on there is one thing that I need to say in the real world we write code for certain people these people are called our users we write code to create apps and other programs to help make our users lives easier and the final code that we write create something called a program for example whatsapp is a program that helps us talk to our friends and family instantly also we are users of the whatsapp program now in this course we will only be practicing how to code as i have said before so we will be our own users we will be the only people using the small programs that we create for practice now coming back to our smart bharat code editor on the left side is where we write all of our code and this is the actual code editor Now on the right side is where we see the output of our code. This is called the terminal. Okay, now how do we actually code? We'll start with a very simple example. One of the most basic things we can do in the Python coding language is show a message on a terminal. We do this using something called the print statement. It's like uh, giving the computer an instruction to display something. So let's see how we can do this.
so here i want to display hello smart bharat on terminal so how have i written this well first i have typed the english word called print then i create an opening parenthesis and to create an opening parenthesis you can press the shift key and the number 9 key at the same time after this we created a quotation mark um and also to create a quotation mark you can press the shift key and the quotation mark key at the same time all right now after we're done creating this quotation mark we can just write whatever we want right or whatever our text is that we want to display on the terminal so in my case i wanted to display hello smart bharat so that's what i've written and when we're done writing we just create one more quotation mark again by pressing the shift key and the uh, quotation mark key again and now finally we have to create this closing parenthesis but to create this closing parenthesis we have to press the shift key and the number 0 key this time all right now this might seem like a lot but it's actually really simple if you want to show something on the terminal you need to type print first and then you need to type the text that you want to show on the terminal just make sure that you have a quotation mark before and after the text and also make sure you have parentheses before and after your quotation marks in other words the parentheses wrap around the quotation marks and the quotation marks wrap around the text now all of this sounds great right but how do we actually see things on the terminal let me just zoom out a bit all right yeah so how do we actually see anything on the terminal i mean the code that we've written doesn't seem to be working so far right we don't see hello smart bharat on our terminal yet well if we want the code to work and we want to see its output we have to press this run button at the top and when we do this we call it running our code so now let's run our code okay as you can see we see hello smart bharat on the terminal we have just created a very first small program and this program is actually just the computer following the instructions we gave it in the code in this case the only instruction was to print hello smart bharat on the terminal now whenever we want to display something on the terminal like we did here we call it printing it's very similar to how you will print on papers in real life or how you will get a xerox of something the only difference is we are not actually printing anything on a real piece of paper instead we are printing on our own terminal which is of course on the computer okay uh moving on so we've talked about how to display things on the terminal through printing but what if we want to get some information from a user instead imagine you are cooking your friend's favorite food but you forgot a step in the recipe so you decide to message your friend and ask them if they know how to fix the food but do you think your friend would be able to give you an answer without knowing what your question is no right however as soon as you send them your question they can respond and help you out similarly we often will need certain information from the users of our programs we can do this using something called the input statement an input statement lets us ask the user for some information we can then use that information in our code for example we can ask a user what their name is using the input statement so let's see how we can do this so i have deleted what we have already and now i'm going to write our input statement okay so what have we done here well for starters we first have written the word input in our code editor then we have created an opening parenthesis over here and after that we create a quotation mark and then we type our question or our prompt and this prompt is just used to sort of help the user understand what information we are asking for in this case we are asking for their name so we can write a question asking what their name is and finally we have to create one more quotation mark and then finally one closing parenthesis if you notice this process is actually quite similar to writing a print statement the only difference is we use the word input instead of print so now let's run this and see what happens after we run this code 
we see that it prints what is your name on the terminal but that is not all this is not the print statement remember because we can now actually type something on the terminal so uh, this is really the magic of the input function and i'm going to try and type my own name now so my name is ariman so let me type that and uh, i'm done typing my name and now after i'm done i need to press the enter key it's similar to how you would type a message on whatsapp and then you would press the send button when you're done so let's do this and what happened wait why don't we see anything else on the terminal this is because we're not actually doing anything with the input yet all we do here is just take this input in but soon i will show you how we can actually use all of this information that we get as input from our terminal okay moving on you might have heard me say the word statement a lot in this video i've said print statement i've said input statement but what actually is a statement well the word statement just means a line of your code that performs an action it has some specific function the print statement has the function of writing something on the terminal the input statement has the function of taking information from a user it's quite important that you remember the meaning of the word statement we will come across many different types of statements in some of the next videos so up until now we have only written a single line of code in each program that we've created in other words we've only given the computer a single instruction but when we actually write code there are many instructions that we have to give the computer and we can have many lines of code for this for example we can have many print statements so let's see So here I have three print statements. The first print statement will print my name. The second will print my favorite food and the third will print my age. Now, there's something that you can notice in the Smart Bharat code editor. Every line that we've actually written in the code editor has a number next to it. So, as you can see over here, this first line that we have written has the number 1 next to it. the second line that we've written has the number 2 next to it and the third line that we've written has a number 3 next to it and um so yeah these these numbers help us keep track of where we are in our code and it also helps us understand where each part of our output comes from so let me just zoom out okay yeah so for example we can see that the first line of our output comes from line number 1 and actually let me just go ahead and run this code yeah so we can see that our first line of output over here is actually because of the code that we wrote on line number 1 um the second line of our output which is my favorite food is pizza this one that comes from the code that we've written at line number 2 or the instruction that we've given in line number 2 um this third line of output that says my age that i am 16 years old this comes from the third line of code that we've written this third instruction that we've written in our code so uh if i actually add a bunch of spaces between all of these lines that we've written we can see how the line numbers change so for example if i press enter here and enter here many times and even if i press enter here many times there's a lot of space between all of these statements and so now if i run this code again we still see the same thing it's just that this first line of our output that says my name is aryan this is actually coming from line number 4 in our code editor the second line of output that says my favorite food is pizza that is coming from line number 9 in our code editor and this final line that says i am 16 years old my age that is coming from line number 15 in the code editor so uh that's all about line numbers and they're very helpful in letting us understand what part of our output comes from which line in our code finally today we will learn about something called a comment sometimes we want to add notes to our code to explain what certain parts of our code do and these notes are called comments 
Comments are ignored by the computer, but they are very useful for us as developers to understand our code. We write comments by starting each line with a hash symbol. You can create a hash symbol by pressing the shift key and the number three key together. So let's see how we can do this. I'm going to delete everything we've written so far and let's create a comment. So let me type hash key using by pressing the shift key and the number three key together. And then I will just say this is a comment. And then I can say print hello. All right. So in this example, uh, this first line that we have is a comment and the computer will ignore it when we run it. It will only run this second line that has a print statement. Why is this? Well, it's because this line is not a comment. It does not have this hash symbol in front of it. You will know if any line is a comment if it is gray in color. And so any line that is gray in color will be ignored by the computer. That part of the code will not run. So let's run this. We see hello on the terminal. Um, now let me write some more some more code over here. So let me create another comment and let me write print hi. Okay. What do you think the output of this program will be? Let's run the code. It still says hello. Um, we only see hello on the terminal. So let's, let's look at why. Well, line number one over here, we know that's a comment. So we know that won't run. And line number two is a print statement. So we know that will run, which is why we see hello on the terminal. And we also know that it's not a comment because we don't see any hash sign in front of it. So that runs. But what about line number three? I mean, that's a print statement too, right? We are trying to print high, but we have put the hash symbol in front of it. So this means that we have converted this print statement into a comment. So no matter what happens, the computer will not read this line. It will not run this line. We won't see any output for this line. So that's pretty much it. Let's, let's run this again. And all we see is hello. Now it's time for some short questions. And in the coming videos, I will be asking you all questions to check if you understood everything that I've taught. The more questions you answer correctly, the more points you and your team will get on Smart Bharat. So you will see the question on the screen as I speak it. Here is the first question. What is the purpose of a print statement in Python? Option A, to get input from the user. Option B, to add comments to the code. Option C, to display a message on the terminal. And option D, to create a variable. The correct answer is option C. The print statement is used to display information to the user on the screen. In other words, to print information on the terminal. Now it's time for the second question. What will the following code do? The correct answer is option B. The code will first ask the user what their favorite food is on the terminal. It will then wait for them to type the response on the terminal. We call this the input. The input statement asks the user for some information. It's now time for today's last question. What will the following code do? The first line says good morning. The second line says welcome to Smart Bharat. And the third line says to enter your favorite dish. Option A, it will print good morning. Option B, it will print good morning and print welcome to Smart Bharat. Option C, it will print welcome to Smart Bharat and then take input for the user's favorite dish. And option D, it will take input for the user's favorite dish. The correct answer is option C. The code will first print welcome to Smart Bharat. Then it will print, enter your favorite dish on the terminal. After this, it will wait for the input. The comment is ignored by the computer. The print statement displays a message on the terminal and the input statement asks the user for information. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.